What's going on, Need to Know Podcast family? You are about to tap into our Patreon. We promised y'all, we told y'all, we've been giving it up crazy over there. Y'all about to get a snippet. Uh, please do not judge me. Don't judge us. Don't judge all of us. Yeah, because we really give it up over there. I've been loving the episodes that we've been doing. I have, I have. We've been doing them in the comfort of our homes, but the mm-hmm. content has still been as if we're in the studio. Very yes. intimate. Yeah, yeah, yeah for, for, sure, sure. for sure, for sure. And uh, if you enjoy what you're listening to, if you're what you're about to hear, that is available in the description below. So please make sure y'all click there, tap, sign up. We are giving y'all extra episodes every single week. We are hey. not missing any weeks. That's two episodes mm-hmm. a week from the Needs to Know podcast. I'm going to shut the fuck up because I know y'all really want to hear this content. So please make sure y'all tap in. We hope y'all enjoy. Start y'all week off. Again, that's every single Monday. Y'all are getting new episodes. Alex, Reggie, how y'all feel? Feeling great. Patreon.com mm-hmm. slash Needs to Know podcast. Meet you over there. So I have a confession, guys. Uh-oh. On the last episode... I told y'all, <laughs> I've I've been learning myself through watching the Pop the Balloon internet series. And there's different variations. There's different variations. A lot. But the one that I have found myself really watching is by a young woman named Arlette. I don't know if y'all are familiar. Okay. But she seems to be in the lead of taking this shit over. Um, And I think I've watched pretty much every episode. I'm, I, I caught up. Wait, are there, different, up. are there different versions of the Pop the Balloon? I thought it was just one. They got so many now. Oh, I thought, so was, oh I thought it was. Oh, I thought it was one. So, because you know what it is. So as content creators always find a cool way to remix some, add to it. So much now, yo. So the confession is, I may produce one <laughs> show like this Save on. I could. Say I may produce. I'm not gonna host it, and I'm gonna be a silent partner. <laughs> okay, and... thank you. Because that if you are freaking hosting a pop the balloon video, <laughs> and I see that on my feed, and I'm associated with Need to Know, yeah. I will quit. Yeah. Like, yes, yeah. yeah. I'm kidding. I will not quit. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> ah, but yes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking about bringing one to the network, guys. <laughs> okay. That's bad. Oh uh, my that's gosh. Bad. <laughs> I like how you. But it. but oh, but. Shit. I, I'll be a silent partner. Uh, I'm not going to be on camera. I'm not going to be doing any of that. That would I, I, I find it super intriguing. I find it super, super interesting. Yeah. I, I think it's hilarious. Again, y'all know one of the main focuses for this year has been creating like evergreen, untimely content. So I've just been know. trying to find ways to do that and incorporate it within the network. But I say all of that to say, um, while watching the show, you know, they, they try to get to know the contestants. And one of the questions is, or one of the more more common questions that uh, some of the people ask is like, what do you like to do? What do you enjoy doing? And everybody loves to travel, of course. Um, And everybody loves to hike, apparently, now, and go out to eat. Like, all of the basics. So I asked myself, when this young lady asked this panel of men, what do they like to do? I thought about, what do I like to do? Wait, can I I guess? Sure. Can I guess? Did you say... Well, if you were being honest, I feel like your real, <laughs> your real answer, in my opinion, who knows you, should be, I love to pod. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that would have been my... But that's I, honest. That, was, that is honest. That You're is. part of I, like that, three pods. Like it, it is. Nah, word. Wow. You're a potter. Yo, and Alex, I, I, I mean, Savon's bio on Instagram is all potting. Like, no, dead ass. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's everywhere I'm at. What's up? Come on, tell them. It's, the, just, you know, it's just my resume. You got you to gotta lay out your heart on your table. I mean, the table. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, so I do have fun potting, and potting <laughs> is a means to an end at some point. Um, and honestly, I, I, I thought about why I enjoy podcasting so much. But needless to say, I was thinking about all of the things that you can say, hey, what do I like to do? Yeah. And what I learned while watching this and answering this question is so lame and it's so corny, but I like to learn. <laughs> oh, brother. Get this guy out of here. Okay. Oh, wait, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, I swear to you. You know I'm what? Like, I'm like, video add- games is easy, right? Like, I, I, of course, I like video games, so that would be one of the things that I would say. I <laughs> Me and Alex are games, like, <laughs> bro, I'm so, I'm so. You know, my man got wait, you wait, on wait, video wait, games. Say you say you me- be on there. Okay, let me stop joking oh, yeah. for a sec. Um, I'm gonna like not like let me be serious for a sec because like yeah, this serious. is actually this is actually true because remember yeah. when Savon went to DC, he went to like museums and shit. Yes, he went to go <laughs> see so Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Yes, you're right. He saw Abraham Lincoln in the seat. Yes, that ass. And I can't be. Uh, I can't. I can't be with a woman if she does. She if she doesn't learn. teach. Like if if I so, can't learn through her or from her, I can't. I'm, you know yeah. what, though? I'm going to add to what you're saying, because as I got older, I realized that 
it wasn't what I was learning. It was I wasn't learning the things I wanted to learn. Mm-hmm. That and intrigue you. That yeah. actually intrigue you. That's the thing. You don't. It's not until you get older till you start to realize, like, okay, maybe certain things were forced to me that I had to learn. Which like made, algebra. Like algebra, right? Which made me feel like, oh, I hate learning. When in actuality, it just wasn't things that piqued your interest. Absolutely. So I see where you're getting at. Laughing at me for learning is crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just when you put like, it like that, it's just so Nah, because your first thing, like, you, that couldn't be your second or third. Like, that's the first thing. I, no, like, what's your hobby? <laughs> I love to learn. I love to learn. All right, no, the, the fuck, dog. <laughs> Like on the first <laughs> off rip, <laughs> that wouldn't be the first. That wouldn't be. The, but I was trying to go deeper, bro, because <sighs> everybody loves to travel. Everybody yeah. go, go, loves go, go, the, go, go. you know, some of the same things. Yeah, but yeah. what do I really enjoy doing outside of traveling? Outside of playing video games, um, and like sports betting, right? Like those uh-huh. are probably the top three things in my uh-huh. real. But if I wanted to have like a nuanced conversation. I'm really sitting here thinking, like, what is it that I like to do? And I like to learn in any capacity. It could be learning how to do a fucking paint and sip. Like, I will go to a paint and sip by myself for a month straight until I mastered the fucking artistry of Ooh. the paint and sip. That like, does sound fun. I like, like really, yeah, huh. like really honing in and like learning a new skill, like something like that. That that, that does sound very fun. Yeah, especially. I think that's why I love potting so much. I'm listening. Why? Not just the the microphone aspect, but the algorithms, the charts. The street, the data, oh, oh, oh. you know, like, I can this is a science, which is why I think we perform so well. One of the reasons why we do so well is because we don't just turn on the microphones and go about our business. Mm-hmm. Like, it, I, I feel like a mad scientist week to week, Fact. pouring and trying to figure this thing out. So I think learning is really one of the things that I would say if I went on Pop the Balloon. So wait, what did you learn up there, nigga? <laughs> like, what did you learn? What did you learn from watching this, that they all like going on vacations and shit? No, he learned this about himself. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Because okay, they, okay. the women kept asking the men, "What you know? What are some of the things that you enjoy doing?" And hmm. all of the guys said the same thing. So obviously, I would say probably potting, podcasting, something in that field. Uh, but creating, but not just creating. I like to learn. Like my creative process is not, oh, I I'm just an artiste and I can draw a paint. Like I'm not that type <laughs> of creative. Like I'm an analytical, strategic creative. Yeah. And learning is a part of that process, and I really enjoy that. Like, it gets my dick hard. <laughs> oh, you. my God. Like, it, it really sets you off. <laughs> it does. Even being a creative, like, I, I mentioned this in our last Patreon. I was reading the act, of, um, the creative act by Rick Rubin, and he made me realize that, similar to what Savon is saying, creatives aren't just painters or these big-ass musicians that we just assume. Like, even the way your route to work, how you formulated that was a creation. That should fuck my head up. Oh. I was like, you right, I did create that. Nobody takes the way I take. Mm. So it, it's you're right, bro. Like, no funny shit. Like, there's so many different ways and variables into how you can be a creative. That's a <gasps> oh my God. This just like unlocked like a memory that I like buried. Yeah. So like I mentioned that um I founded like a hip hop magazine at Syracuse University. And I remember this stuck with me so much. I don't know why. Like, so I was in charge of all the writers and like the written content. But mm-hmm. I was still a very big part of like how like the magazine as a whole, like the decisions, right. what we did, like how it should look, stuff like that. And I remember our graphic designer, she she was my good friend, but she said something like we were like planning the magazine or whatever. And she's like, oh, um, I guess in the next meeting, I'll find some more creative people and then we'll talk about like stuff like, oh, I'll, I'll talk to the creatives. And I remember that like stuck with me to this mm. day because I'm like, hmm. I'm like, just because I can't like do photography or graphic design, does that, but I'm still creative though. Like I'm literally a writer. Like that's still, that stuck with me. So I'm like, so y'all call yourselves creatives, but are we not like, just because we're not graphic, like visual. So yeah. And it's very profound because not, not, it's not like super profound, but like Alex, like he's creative with his like music and like uh, Savon's very analytical. So we're all creatives and just her calling a certain type of person creative really like, I did not like that. (laughs) Like I did, Mm -hmm. I did not, that did not sit well with me. It minimizes what creativity is. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It minimizes it because creativity is not subject to, uh, visual like uh, just visual right or audio right like there's just so many different lanes you can go down with that like people being like i'm a creative usually they're referring to them being visual like a videographer mm-hmm. or something yes but yes oh. crackheads are creative <laughs> crackheads are create to stay alive all of these years after consuming something like that no money in pocket they no, figured it out no place to stay 
You are creative on how you go about your life. I'm with you. I'm with you, sis. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> would would y'all be opposed to bringing like a pot of balloon to the network? No, I have no. That's fire. If you, as it's long as you right. don't make me do it, I'm yeah, all for I would it. Not, no, we're no. not included. No. Also, Honestly, also producer shit, Reggie. That, that's included. like that's like not my thing. Like no, I would, no, no, no. I, I would not be comfortable on camera doing that. Also, producer that's, shit. Me, this is producer shit. What I? What I? <laughs> I already found a host. Right. I already found a host. See that? Okay. I, I know. I know somebody who is who who would fit that role. See that? And yeah, I just want to help create it. Honestly, I just want to. Yeah. Like see it come to life. I want to have an idea. Yeah. I want to put it. You know what I'm saying on paper. Put it on camera and see it come to life and see if we can. You know, put it in our ecosystem somehow. I just think like that would help the network. Thought. I think yeah. it's fire it's, though. It's far fetched thought, but I think it would be fun. Um, yeah. And I have thought about it. I, I have, and I didn't tell anybody this until just now. Not even Kieran. <laughs> Karen's so, like, yeah. what the fuck, bro? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Yeah, right. He's like, what are you about to make me like edit? Like, wow. Karen mm-hmm. actually, like, maybe this is how I get Karen in his bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could be the first contestant on the show. Oh like, my gosh. Karen. Producer. Karen is a producer. Yo, he man. would never stop. Hell he would yeah. turn so red. Yes, he would. Karen Don't make him do that. So red. Karen I can't. Ask he would Karen. say no. He Karen can't do that. He can't defend himself right now. We can't do him like this. <laughs> okay, 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 yeah. <laughs> But yeah, man, I'm thinking about trying to bring some type of pop the balloon <laughs> like to, to the ecosystem. Um, obviously, yeah. if I really do map this thing out, I would love y'all input on on how it should go and, and all of those things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I love the social experiment. I love the social aspect of it. Um, and shout out to Arlette. She's killing it. She, she, she's on YouTube. Um, her and her husband, I think they created the show, produced the show. She hosts the show. And mm-hmm. yeah, I, I just think it's it's a great way to kind of consume content and just see how people work. Yeah, it's like, just seeing the difference, and I love that dynamic. Just Again, like observe right. them. Just yeah, I like to I... learn. What the fuck you want me to do, bro? Like, <laughs> yeah. Sociology, yeah. sociology. And update everybody. Karen said in the chat, he said, "Fuck out of here." <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I was waiting for his response. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. Oh man, right, cool. That that was fun. Yeah. Okay, so. Speaking of how, you know, people work and just, oh, socially, perfect segue. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. this is not getting clipped. This is specifically for our Patreon members because I feel like they really love us and they understand us. They've been listening to us. So they know, like, our personalities and where our hearts are, where we come from. So this is only a talk for you guys listening. So I was recently part of my first scandal 